Hello everyone, so today's look is something fun. Um, I used some blues, a little bit black, purple, a little bit of pinks, and some silver. And the palette I used to create this look is the one that I always use to create these kind of colorful looks. And the palette is the 120 palette, mine is the Manly 120 palette. But you can really um, buy this palette anywhere on eBay, just online. You can find it anywhere. I think BH Cosmetics also has it. You can just find it anywhere and it's really cheap. So, yeah. You don't have to waste so much money to create these kind of looks. So, yeah. If you want to learn how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So, the first thing I'm going to do is apply a base. And the base I'm going to be using today is... Uh, NYX White Eyeshadow Base, which looks like this. Okay, so the first color I'm going to start off with is um, this color, which is like a light pink purplish color, which looks like this. And I'm going to be applying that with my 224 brush. So I'm going to grab that color and apply it right on my crease and I'm just gonna blend that up okay now going in with my uh, 217 brush I'm gonna grab a what color was it? I'm gonna grab this uh, purple right here this dark purple and I'm just gonna blend that out right on the crease bringing it back and forth okay now I'm gonna go in with my elf flat brush which looks like this and I'm going to be grabbing a very nice blue color which has um, some shimmer in it looks like this and what I'm going to do is apply that right on my lid so you want to place this right over your lid. Don't go any um, further up than that. Now I'm going to grab my uh, pencil brush, brush which is the 219 and I'm going to go in with the black. Any of these black don't matter. Um, so I'm going to grab that and I'm just going to define my crease a little bit. And I'm just going to bring it in right there. And just to blend that out, I'm going to go back in with my 217. And just blend that, blend that out. And then I'm going to be bringing that in all the way. Like that. So you just want to keep on blending. Okay, now that I've uh, that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go in again with um with that one light purple pinkish color that we used, and I'm gonna go in with my 224 brush, and once again go over that just to blend that all those colors. So we're going to be going back and forth, giving it a nice blend. Now you may get some fallout, I always get fallout, but that's okay, you can go ahead and clean it up after that.
Now I'm just going to go in with my large eyeshadow brush from Sephora, which looks like this. And I'm going to pick up a um, white color, the white color they have in the palette. And I'm going to apply this on my brow bone. And while applying it, I'm going to be blending in that purple I have there. So you don't want to just focus on the brow bone just there, but you want to also um, try to blend in those colors while you're applying that. Okay, so now for the bottom, I'm going to be going in with my um, Maybelline Eye Studio and Blackest Black that I always use and love and I'm going to apply that on, under the eye just like that and I'm going to be using this brush right here so I'm going to apply that underneath the eye and I'm just going to go in with my pencil brush and smudge that out. Okay, now I've smudged it out and I did apply eyeliner in the waterline. So now what I'm going to do is get a pencil brush one more time. And we're going to be using this very nice silver this palette comes with. Which is this one right here. And with a pencil brush, I'm going to apply this in the inner tear duct and bring it bring it out just a little bit and then bring that up also bring it in just a little bit okay so now what I'm going to do is apply some lashes and eyeliner and yes, I created a wing liner. Again, I always create a wing liner for all my looks. And I've extended it out a little bit further. So you want to just apply some eyelashes and eyeliner just like this eye. And I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so this is um, the finished look with eyelashes and eyeliner on. And one little thing I want to tell you to get an eyeliner like this... Something I do, a little trick, I use tape and I basically just place it right on there so it's so much easier to create that winged liner. Um, but yeah, just something I want to let you guys know. You guys probably know already, but if you don't, there you have it. Okay, so yeah, this is a finished look. Very fun, very pretty, very, I don't know, very nice. Um, and if you guys want to see me recreate a look that you guys really want to see you just go get, go ahead and comment below let me know how it looks and I would be so happy to recreate a look for you guys and yeah and do not forget to comment and subscribe and a lot more new videos will be coming up so <laughs> I'll see you guys later bye bye